Hey everyone, I am Crypto Kiwi and welcome to the Crypto Kiwi YouTube channel. Yes, I'm uh, not 100%, so I may sound a little bit funny, but crypto mining waits for nobody, right? And it doesn't it doesn't care whether you're feeling good or feeling bad, right? If the fans aren't spinning, you're not making crypto. So uh, bear with me and um, we'll have some great content for you. So in this video, yes, more Bitmain ant miners have arrived. This time, my two KA3s, they are finally here. So it's been nearly six months. Uh, we'll go into that, but first of all, we're going to get into the shop. We're going to get these things set up. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Then we're going to jump on the computer, check out the current price, network hash rate, and then just go from there. So let's get started. Okay, we're out at the ranch again. If you haven't seen one of my intro videos, this is my 1500 square foot shop that I am setting up as a dedicated crypto mining facility. So the whole purpose of this building is just to be to set up all the miners and mine crypto. So this is going to be a, quite a decent facility when I'm finished putting it all out. Um, some of the GPU miners are still indoors because I'm using them for heating and obviously, like I said before, using them to dry my clothes. So that's what's going on there. Uh, we've got some ASICs set up here. Let's, uh, let's get into the KA3s. So I've uh, moved the fourth S19J Pro over here. So I've now got all four of these machines. They're all the same, right? These are all the S19J Pro 104 terahash. So they're all just sitting over there doing Bitcoin. And then over here, I now have a space. So I'll actually be able to fit both KA3s on the top shelf. So we should be good. Unfortunately, only one arrived and it has a couple of holes in the box, so I'm not super impressed. So let's open it up, see if it's in one piece and see if it gets working. I imagine the other one will turn up tomorrow. I don't know how both of these shipped, both of these arrived at the hub here at the same time, but yet they only put one out for delivery today. So amazing. Anyway, hopefully the other one will turn up tomorrow. Doesn't look damaged from the uh, on the box, so that's good. There it is. There it is. This one looks to be what it says on the box. 166 terahash KA3 for Kadena. So I have a spot for it now. Let's get it up there and plugged in and get it configured. Okay, I just plugged in the ethernet and the two power cords. And it's just spinning up. Nice and clean and new. Here's the uh, K7 and the uh, HS3. And you can see they're already starting to get a bit dirty. But I guess that's just, uh, I guess it's just how they go. Until I can get my clean room all set up in here. Okay, the uh, second KA3 has arrived. So the first one's up and running um, here on the left. Uh, got a space in the middle for the second one I'm about to plug in and over there are the four Bitcoin miners the four S19J Pro 104 terahashes so I've already got a space ready and uh, now we're gonna get this one unboxed and get it uh, up and running and another one to open up beautiful here it is another brand new KA3 it uh, it's what it says it is on the box it's what I ordered at least so this is uh, this is good all right, let's get it plugged in, fired up, and making Kadenas. All right, the Ethernet's in. Let's get the, uh, the power in, and then we're off to the races. So if we have a look at what we've got here, you can see the uh, two KA3s up and running. And they go along with my K7 and HS3. So, I mean, apart from the, the stickers, you probably couldn't really tell these boxes apart. They all look pretty much the same, so... I guess it's just a control board, or maybe not even that, maybe it's just the firmware on the control board, and then the actual uh, ASIC boards that they go inside. So, very smart on Bitmain's um, part, right? Because it's just, uh, just reuse, reuse a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the standard parts that they have. It's a beautiful sight. In the foreground, the ASICs, and in the background, the solar. Okay, so let's have a look at Kadena and the KA3. Uh, current price is less than a dollar as of recording this, so 0.97, 97 cents, 97.5 cents. Um, things are getting beat up lately, I noticed. I noticed the uh, 
looks like the uh, Federal Reserve is going to yank uh, interest rates more because inflation is not doing what, um, what they want it to be doing. That, to me, seems to be um, what's happened in the last few days. And I think the market's pricing in the expectation that interest rates are going to be um, going up more again this year. So not financial advice, my own observations of the economic market conditions and as a result, why I think the price of cryptocurrencies is doing what it's doing right now. So um, yeah, it's having a little bit of a tough time the last seven days. Uh, I guess it's all on a downward trend, but mainly in the last few days. Um, so how, how, what's, I just wanted to look at the profitability for the, um, the KA3. Let me just refresh this. So according to ASIC minor value, it still seems to be the second most profitable miner if this is current, slightly behind uh, a 9.5 gigahash L7. So still the most, basically one of the top profitable miners right now. Uh, let me have a look at what, what they've got over here. Interestingly enough, um, oh, it's amazing how these things, okay, that, that makes more sense. <laughs> so refresh and I keep getting different values. So at the moment, um, electricity seems about right. Profit, $15, sounds about right. So um, with a 2176 income, the, um, there we go, make it a little bit larger so we can all see the same screen here. Um, at the moment, it looks very profitable, but you'll notice that the, uh, the line is kind of going the wrong direction, <laughs> right, for, for long-term sustainable mining. Um, the price is a part of that, but it's not the biggest price. You'll see what happens when we go to the, uh, the hash rate screen, right? A lot of these KA3s are hitting the market and they're doing some damage to the, uh, to the hash rate and the overall profitability. So um, it was good until kind of what? We got into first week of March, first week of February, and then the last month, it's been a, a decline in profitability. Well, let's have a look why. If we go to the hash rate and uh, where's my hash rate gone? Seems to be a recurring theme with this. Let's try again. Hopefully this doesn't take too long to uh, bring this up. Well, while it's thinking about it, you can see um, on the right hand side, the smaller graph over here that um, this has been a significant increase in the last month or so, which is the reason why profitability has gone down. So these KA3s are finally hitting the market. They took a long time to get out there. While that's loading, I can show you when I bought mine. I bought, I bought one on September 29. So we're now talking nearly six months ago, right? Five and a half months. Um, and both of these have finally arrived. So one I paid 6,600 plus uh, shipping and taxes. So this is going to be a bit over, about 7,200. And this one, 8,000, this is going to be closer to, um, you know, 8,600 by the time it, it gets here. So uh, not a bad price to pay for the 66 and, and 8,000 is okay. but. You know, having bought one in September and then it doesn't turn up until March, you know, um, I did buy it from BT Miners, so that's not necessarily a huge knock against them because the hash rate's finally loaded. Let's have a look. So um, I don't think that these miners, this is a year, let me just put it in the last six months and see how that looks. Yeah, so these, these miners weren't actually officially released until September. But I don't, I don't know how many were actually made and released. Maybe six months. I mean, it's possible that some of these... I am on the six-month view. I'm sorry. Let's have a look at this. So is it possible that some got out there and then were mining for... I don't think so. I think this is maybe the... What do we got? The IB link. I think this is possibly other miners. I don't think these really hit the streets until a lot more recently. So... You can kind of see the profitability went down the uh, first week of February. And what happened in the first week of February? Well, the freaking hash rate went through the roof, right? Went from like 220-ish, you know, 225 something in here. And now it's like an all-time high of 460. So it's more than doubled in a month. So those KA3s are freaking, they're hitting the streets. I mean, I wish I'd got mine, well, December, right? Or November, or October. But or at least on the, on the front end of this batch. So I am disappointed that I wasn't, I didn't have this unit a month ago. Obviously other people were getting theirs. So I'm not sure what happened, but mine arrived, they're plugged in. They're profitable right now. I'm just, I'm just not sure how many more have been bought, you know, right? Like me maybe last year and how many more there are to kind of be delivered and then and how many people are still looking at the current profitability and buying them. I'm hoping people aren't buying them right now because by the time they actually get it, I, I don't know how, how uh, 
I don't know how profitable this is going to be. At least there's no significant halving, right? Like Kadena doesn't have a halving. It has a slowly slow increase in difficulty. So um, it doesn't it doesn't have any halving anytime soon. So that's one positive thing. But um, hopefully, hopefully there's not too many more people buying them out there. I just thought what would be interesting as well is what does I bought it from BT Miners. So they let me just refresh this. I always like to show you the real time information here as as uh, as I'm seeing it too. So they're showing the KA3 is about 49.2. Okay, so that's that aligns. Um, they do have an 84.99 price, but interestingly enough, when you click on it, the March batch is actually 9,000, right? 9,100. The April batch is 8,500. So, you know, $500 less to wait another month. I don't know. I've got two. I'm good. I'm not buying any more. I paid less than 85 right before you put on all the, all the taxes and everything else that went with it. So I'm still happy on that front um, as, far as, the, as far as the price that I paid. Um, what I wanted to show you too was, and I mentioned it before on another video, <clears throat> I'm curious with the IB link. Let me just sort search by algorithm, right? Let's have a look to see where we fit on the Kadena. Let me have a look. Okay, Kadena. So basically, the IB Link BMK3 is still showing a dollar twenty-six profitability at the moment. I mean, this thing chews three point three kilowatts for seventy terahash. I don't want to say only because that that's still a lot, or it was a lot, right? Compared to all the gold shell and um, you know units that were out there, but compared to the KA3, it's just getting destroyed, right? I mean, this thing is. Um, it only came out in December. December twenty-two. Wow, well, that's amazing. Let's have a look at this thing. I feel bad for people that just bought these things. Oof. Yeah, it's trending in the wrong direction very fast as well, right? It's first week of February on the downslope. I mean, by the time you're paying for power, this thing is just profitable. I would expect the next week or two, you're going to be below the line, right? Unless you can get your power below 10 cents, which for most people is, is hard. Yeah, so this is 10 cents. Unless you're getting some commercial stuff and you're maybe hosted somewhere, you know, you're going to be profitable for a bit longer. But I think this is... You know, I just think these things are going to be um, unprofitable soon, which is really bad considering, you know, all the people that bought all the gold shells. Um, apologies for all the scrolling around, but I'll just get down there real quick. I mean, I'm just looking at the other other Kadena models. They're already unprofitable, right? Even things like the was it KD the KD Max, forty terahash came out in June twenty two. I mean, we're only talking eight months. That was the most powerful thing you could buy in you know in in June until the IB Link. The BMK3 came out in December. Um, so I guess that explains some people bought those and that's why the hash rate went up. But wow, these gold shells are just getting wrecked. It's um, it's tough, you know. And sure, I have the um, the latest and greatest right now. But I mean, maybe IB Link are going to bring out a 300 terahash. I don't know. Who knows, right? Maybe gold shell bring out a 300 terahash unit and then... These KA3s are going to be uh, expensive doorstops that I only just got. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but we'll see. Just wanted to give you a quick update on my uh, my thoughts on that. I have two. I'm keeping both. I'm going for it. I just hooked them up to F2 Pool as well. Um, haven't even had a full day of uh, mining uh, profitability yet to even show what that looks like. So um, more to come on that, but just wanted to give you a quick update on the KA3s. So there's been a lot of focus on ASICs lately. I did buy quite a few over a number of months and it's turned out that the last few weeks they've all just turned up. So there's been a lot of content lately all on ASIC. So people have been asking comments about the solar, people have been asking about uh, Bitcoin mining, people are asking about GPUs again. So I am working on other content and I will get a lot of other content out there about all those areas because there's a lot going on in all those spaces, right? More solar coming in. I'm starting to build out some things in the shop to get it ready for summer because it's going to get hot here real soon. Um, I've got my Bitcoin mining strategy. So lots to, lots to come. So uh, a little bit behind schedule, haven't been feeling the best of late, but I appreciate your support. Thank you for uh, sticking with me. Um, and there's been a lot of views, right? I've had more than 10,000 views on the channel, which is phenomenal. I never thought that uh, there'd be enough people maybe interested in uh, watching some uh, Kiwi guy in America talking about crypto mining, but there is. So uh, you can see that I uh, invested in a microphone. I didn't want to go all out to start with in case it never went anywhere, but it seems to be going great. So uh, more to come. We can't do much about the presenter, but, you know, we'll just uh, we'll see what we can do, right? So uh, once again, thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed and you want to see more content, click the subscribe button. Thanks a lot and look forward to catching you again next time.